we will have the moderator, the former Secretary General, Dr. Bandit Lim Shun, and our moderator will be inviting the opening remark by His Excellency Ponshai Tanvi Vanathana, Secretary General of ACD, sir. And after that, we have the keynote address by Mr. Sukhdev. He is the world champion in sales, and he has received the award of the closer of the year 2019. After that, we have the panel discussion. So the panel discussion will be moderated by His Excellency, former Secretary General, Dr. Bandit again. The topic is the new normal for higher education across Asia post-COVID world and how universities in Asia respond. So the panelists, we will start with Dr. Yamada, Chancellor of Tokai University. After that, Dr. Ponchai, Mongkonwanit, President of Siam University. After that will be Professor Dato, Dr. Ansari, President of Asia E University. And then we have Dr. Sabur Khan, Chairman of the Fodel International University, Bangladesh. Thank you so much. Platform to cultivate the new knowledge and intellectual capital, sharing of expertise, resources, information, and best practice to break down barrier of cultural difference across Asia. I'm confident that the conference today would provide us with emerging trends in higher education after COVID-19 and partnership, and perhaps the conference could offer recommendations and policy options for universities in Asia for adoption as they see fit. As a university provide, as education provider, maybe you can open opportunities up where students can volunteer in the university so they get experience in doing community service. They get experience in building the connection with you. And after they graduate, you can be their referral. And that's the way how universities, students and university can succeed and win. And instead of just being impossible, you have converted a situation now to be impossible for the students and for the university. So we were was a long, long discussion, the very controversial issue. Old professor prefer to smoke in their office and some of the elder student, uh, they don't uh, uh, stop the smoking. Uh, but, uh, you know, the smoking is very bad to the uh, coronavirus uh, symptom. So that's why it, uh, we could uh, achieve the complete uh, smoke-free campus. We have to uh, redirect our investment to like online facility and also to upgrade the expertise of the of our staff and our students and i think that that in right now i think that each university we invest a lot of money probably more than half to the brick and mortar and some kind of, of facility that is not uh, directly related and then we hope that there will be the re recreating of, of the higher education it means that uh, we we would like to see higher education that allow online uh, as well as face-to-face, uh, -face. and we're also thinking about uh, some verification of micro-credential. This means that we have a lot of Coursera, a lot of uh, MOOC, a lot of uh, open online course. Can we find a way to integrate that into the formal system of education of the university? And, and the big issue is that uh, how can we find the right way to evaluate online teaching? Uh, I took this from what they call Economic Intelligence Unit because they were also talking about the post-COVID, what happens to the future of higher education. And they mentioned about five innovative models for the future education. I'm not going to look at the open university model. Everybody is, sorry, it's disappeared. Everybody, is, everybody knows the open university model and everybody knows the liberal arts model. So I'm just going to go to the cluster model the experiential model and partnership model. So I think we have already started the partnership model uh, with the ACD MBA. And uh, I think that's something we already got. Now we're talking about the experiential and, and what you call cluster model. I think the ACD UN should be looking at the cluster model where different, different universities can come together and work together. And therefore we can collectively share our resources moving ahead uh, together. I would recommend the cluster model. 
And my last word is on, on the what you call expansion model is something for people to consider if they like to do so. Because this is the time also for the SED to think some out of box. Because we know that uh, SED is thinking to try the MBA, but I must say that this is the right time to taking the initiative how we can organize the best practices among the SED's partner university. Because you know, to survival in this uh, odd situation or the coronavirus situation, I'm sure that everybody is trying their best to find out the good solution. Student in respect of faculty, in respect of administration, and now again, the financial uh, stability also. So I think this is the right time for us to be more courageous, okay? If we don't try, we will never know what will happen. So we, it's, it's the time of courage and challenge for all of us. Thank you.